Hey everyone out on YouTube, Harper here, and welcome to my Big Chinchampa guide. So, the easiest way to find out when it's going to be going on is to click the Quests button and go to Minigames. Make sure this drop-down menu is under D&Ds, so normally you'd see Quests. You're just going to go to Minigames, and you're going to scroll down until you see Big Chinchampa. If it's gold like this and has a 20 next to it, that means it just started. So we're going to go ahead and get to it. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I am at the Tree Gnome Stronghold. I just teleported here via the Tree Network, because I've done the quest to do that. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to come south. And you're going to head over to where I showed you guys how to hunt the, uh, the Grenwalls. But we're going to go ahead and go through a different portal. So for those of you that don't know, again, here's the map. Here's the Tree Gnome Stronghold. And then you're going to go just south of the Agility Arena and come up into the tree and you'll see these portals and for the big chinchampa you're going to go through uh niriki's portal I, I don't know if i said that correctly but forgive me if i did and then you're going to go ahead and jump down into the chinchampa cave and this is how you're going to start the mini game if it doesn't take forever to load there we go all right so once you're here he's going to give you a moth jar which is this thing right here and then you guys probably aren't going to have this, but this is a Protea flower, this weapon I'm holding. And if you don't have one, it's really easy to get. You just come over here, pick Protea flower. But you're going to run around and you're going to catch butterflies. And you're going to check shaking trees, like so. And you're going to get these butterflies by running around. There's one right there. Um, you're going to have to catch butterflies that are in your hunter level. So I've got 78 hunter right now, so I can catch most of them. I can't catch the uh, black ones, though, because they're like... You gotta have, like, really good hunter to catch them. Because they're just, like, that slick, man. They're, like, the, the gods of butterflies. <laughs> I guess. Um, anyways. So you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna run around, catch butterflies, check these shaking trees, and you'll usually get a butterfly from them. I, I guess they're called moths. They aren't butterflies. I don't know what the difference is between a butterfly and a moth. I'm sure there's some kind of scientific reasoning. I think moths come out at night and in dark places, and butterflies come out during the day. But there are butterflies that look like moths and moths that look like butterflies. So they can be butterflies, I guess, or moths, depending on your own personal preference. I just call them butterflies, because I think that sounds better. Ah, that one got away from the tree before I clicked on it. So yeah, you're going to come over here, grab this one. Sorry about any funky camera angles. And you're going to catch as many of these as you can. Eventually, your jar is going to fill up. And all you're going to do is you're going to run over to the chinchampa and you're going to hit empty jar nest or you can just click on the chinchampa and it'll do it automatically. Your dude will dump all the moths in there. Chinchampa comes over and is like, oh, thanks, lunch, and just mows down on him. And when he eats enough, he's going to go back to sleep. So apparently your entire goal is to make sure he gets back to sleep. That's this bar right here. So when this bar fills up or this timer runs out, the minigame is over. And then your points are displayed here, and you'll get points when you dump them into the nest. Not when you catch them. You get all your experience and your points when you dump the moths into the nest. So if you have moths in your jar, and you haven't already dumped them by the time this bar is about to fill up, or this timer is about to run out, you're going to want to make sure you get those thrown in the nest. Um, it's pretty decent XP. I've got a good friend of mine in one of the groups that I play with who um, has 120 Hunter, and he told me flat out, like, do this to level 80. It's just that good XP, and then at level 80, start hunting Grenwalls. Obviously, if you saw my other video, I didn't take his advice, and I started hunting Grenwalls sooner, because it's an awesome way to make some pretty good cash. But um, once that's done, at the end of the minigame, you'll get your points. And then you can get your reward by coming over here and hitting rewards. Um, I don't have the, the points from this round yet because it's not over, but you can get experience. Um, you can get, this is the Grenwall quota tickets I was talking to you about in my money-making guide, which I will go ahead and put a link to up in the corner there. And, um, you know, just that's how you do it. So <laughs> go ahead this is the Big Chinchampa minigame, and that's that's pretty much all you need to know to do it. Um, other than you can do it twice a day. And like I said, good experience, good money. So, oh, there's one of the black ones. Womp, womp, womp. So yeah, that's how you do that. And uh, 
I hope you guys enjoyed my guide and I will catch you all in the next one.